Hi everybody, welcome back to DIY with Danica. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please push that button down there so that you can subscribe and be kept up to date on any videos that I do in the future. Today, I'm going to be doing, I would say a little bit of an experiment because I've never done this craft before, but it is something that I saw on Pinterest and I'm really excited to give it a try. Today, we're going to be learning how we can make denim roses or denim flowers just like this. So I saw this craft on Pinterest on a website called Pillar Box Blue and I really loved it and I decided to give it a try and take you guys along on the adventure with me as I give it a try. So hopefully we will be successful and this will not be a denim flower fill. Let's do it. For this tutorial, you will need the following materials. You will need some scrap denim, and I just cut these from a pair of pants that were destroyed anyway. Um, you will need a Sharpie, a pair of scissors, your hot glue gun, glue stick. You'll need some paper on which you can create your own template for the flower petals. And you will need some Mod Podge glue and a paintbrush. If you intend to make the flower specifically the way it says on the Pillar Box Blue website, then you're going to want to have a skewer, a, what do we call these, a bamboo skewer. Here's the brand that I got, and I picked this up at the 99 cent store, a whole bag of them, not just one. And this is so that you will have a stem for your denim rose. I don't intend to put mine on a stem. I'm going to change up the directions just a little bit so that I can attach mine to a hair clip and put my denim flower in my hair. I think that's it, so let's get started. Step one is going to be to create a template for your flowers. So the template that I saw on the website showed some that looks similar to this. In my mind, I saw that almost like a heart shape, but not quite as pointy in the center of the heart, nor as pointy at the bottom of the heart, okay? You'll need three different sized petals. You'll need a small size, a medium, and a large, as well as two leaves. And you'll need about six of your small, five of your medium, and five of your large. Once you have that drawn out, you can cut, cut it out and attach it to your denim and trace out the shapes that you need. So I'm gonna do that now. Once you have your pieces of denim cut into small, medium, and larger pieces, the next step is going to be to begin to glue them together. So I decided that even though I'm not making a flower that's on a stem, that I will use a piece of this skewer in order to give the center of my flower some stability. So I'm going to take just the tip of it and I'd say that's probably about maybe an inch or so and I can always cut it down more later if it's too much but I'm going to cut this 
into a little small inch piece. And I'm going to begin by hot gluing my smallest leaf petals around the center of this stick. So I'm going to put some glue on the tip of the stick. Oops. And I gotta put a glue stick in there. Just to help get me started. And now I'm going to glue this first flower petal, small size, around the tip of the stick. And I want it to go all the way around. So more glue. So I can close it. Be careful not to burn yourself because you see there's glue sticking out there and it will burn. I've been working with hot glue for a long time, so um, I feel the heat, but it's not killing me. So this is my first inner petal of my flower. And I probably will go in and cut this excess of the stick off because I just wanted something firm there. There we go. Now I am going to continue with my small pieces and glue them around the perimeter of this flower and keep going. And keep going more and more and more until the flower grows. And I'm just putting the hot glue on the lower portion of the flower petal. Okay, so far so good. I really like it. Now I'm going to continue with my medium flower petals. So I like to show that the place where one petal stops is where I wanna start the next petal. So this one stopped here. I'm gonna start the next one right there so that these edges of the petals overlap in that way, as opposed to being opposite of each other. different petals, small to medium to large. And as I told you, when one petal ends, the, the line where one petal ends, that's where the next one starts. So they're not just one on one side, one on the other. It's where one ends, the next one starts. Now, naturally that doesn't look too great. Once you fold it out, It should start to look more and more like a flower and you'll see that now it does so my only issue with this is that because it's denim it frays so all these little bits of stuff 
can come off, right? Would be all in my locks. Like, I can't. So that is where my Mod Podge is going to come in. I am going to take some Mod Podge and paint it around the edge of each flower. And that is going to help seal in those pieces of fiber of fabric that would normally fall off and shed off into my hair, which I don't want. Um, if you were interested, you could probably use that time after you put some Mod Podge to sprinkle a little glitter around the edge. That would be cute. I don't want glitter in my hair, so I am just going to stick with the Mod Podge for now. So I'm taking this and I am just going to generously paint it around the edge of each petal, just in an attempt to keep that from shedding. And this is purely optional. If you're just going to make a vase full of denim flowers, you might not want to take this extra step to um, keep the edges of the flower from shedding. But like I said, I don't want to have bits of denim in my hair forever. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So I am going to do the whole flower, let it dry, and then come back once that is done. And then we'll move on to the next steps. Okay, guys. So this actually turned out to be really nice. As you can see, and I have finished painting the Mod Podge, which I picked up at the Dollar Tree, onto the edges. Now, if I pull on these edges, I cannot take a piece of that denim off, so it won't actually go into my hair. And it stiffens the petals a bit, which gives it some structure, which I like. So the last steps, I believe the last step is going to be to take my black small piece of felt and I'm going to cut those little frayed edges off and I am going to glue this to the back of the flower like so, so that I can take my hair clip and slide it through and that will allow it to easily attach to my hair. So I'm gonna use the hot glue gun for this. Generously apply some hot glue to one end of my felt. And it's not felt, I keep saying felt, but this is actually a piece of um, faux suede. A little bit too long, yeah. Glue that down. If I would, if I was concerned, I could also sew this in to make sure that it would stay um, without any issues. But I, I'm not really concerned that it's gonna come apart. Okay, then I can easily slide my hair clip through here and now it will attach to my hair. So let's give it a try, fingers crossed, right? I think that it came out really well. I feel like I have a bit of a Billie Holiday vibe going on and it will work great with certain outfits. Just reflecting on the process, I would say that this is actually one of the easier crafts that I've done in a while and it's surprisingly easy. Um, I know personally that I'd actually put it off for a while thinking that it was gonna be complicated but once I got started and did it, it happened so quickly, so fast. As a matter of fact, as this one was drying, I decided to make another one in a darker, um, 
with the darker side of the same piece of denim. So that's a positive. When you're using your denim, you can get two different looks. This one is using the inside of the denim. This one is the same pair of jeans, but it's the outside of the denim. And later I'm going to paint the edges with the Mod Podge to make it stiffer so that I can use it. Not at the same time, guys, but with darker outfits, darker denim outfits. I would say that one negative about this project was that it's a bit messy because as you're cutting the denim, you end up with little pieces of frayed edge from the denim all over your workspace, but that's the only negative. So I hope you like this tutorial. I loved it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and tell a friend about DIY with Danica. And last but not least, remember if I can do this, you can do this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.